Hi everyone, welcome to one of my favourite places to be, which is inside the rover. And today I'm going to be tackling a job which I've been meaning to do for a long time but haven't actually got round to yet, but today's the day. And it's this. As you can see, I've got a very wobbly shaft. Lots of play in that. So that's always got on my nerves a bit, so I'm going to fix that. And I've got this um, this new old stock bush to put in under there somewhere. But the first job is to uh, dismantle this lot, getting the knob off, the gear selector cover plate and the trim, and the bolts holding the mechanism. So let's get going. Okay, so here we've got the uh, the base plate here, and you can see how how loose and free that is. Next thing to do, I think, is to get these three bolts out. I think there's one under there. Yeah, there it is. Get those three out, and that'll free the mechanism. They're very loose. Actually, what I'm going to do before I go any further, because my hands are getting, my fingers are getting black already, I'm going to cover over this, uh, this carpet here. Because I don't want to get oil. Hospital surgery, isn't it? There we go. Now, that's better. I think that's it. Now, is that going to fall to the ground? <laughs> surgical apron is getting in the way. Let's disconnect the, the uh, how do I disconnect the, uh, the light here. Let's take the bulb out first. Whoop, there it goes. Ah, let's see there's a little Little Phillips screw in there to hold this in. Cardboard. Can we get this screw out? Losing it. Yeah. There you go. Just a little. Oh. And of course, being a rover, another washer to go on that screw. So, this is the best I can do angle wise and lighting wise. Um, so I've undone, undone the three screws around there, which connect the, uh, the selector housing to the, the bottom plate here. And now I've got to disconnect 
the, uh, the selector rod here so I can lift out the, um, the selector from the top. So let's find a, the right spanner for that. Okay, so. Uh, the trouble is, no, it's loose. It's it's all moving about. I think we've got to put those screws back in. Oh, I don't know. What I think is this needs to. Ah, oh, that doesn't want to come off. That doesn't want to come off. I'm going to put the screw back on there because I don't want it to start disappearing back in the car again. Now you have to come off here somehow. And Spray with the that's really so filthy underneath there. It really is. So what I need to do is hold that. And that's in a damn awkward position behind the prop shaft. Well, it's going to want to go up anyway, isn't it? Ah, okay, got it. It's turning, I've got it. And the spanner's stuck on the screw. That's a washer on there. Oh, it's 12 o'clock on a Saturday, and that means the 12 o'clock siren. Okay, so if I just pull that out of there and rest that on the prop shaft, now we've got clearance oh, to pull out. Right, I had to also remove those other two screws holding this. Uh, this plate on again, but now we should be able to remove this. Hmm. This damn, uh, this damn trim things in the way. I have to undo that again. to lift the piece of the center console up and out. But I guess I could, yeah, no, I could.
nearly. I don't want to drop it on the right off. Come on. You're almost there. No, you're not. Now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. I'm going to have to drop it all the way, aren't I? Oily fingers on my new carpet, eh? Okay, you win. You win. Oh dear. I have to get back under and have a look at that. go. Oh, there it is. Finally. Right, let's get it on the bench and see what's amiss. So, it's out of the car and on the bench. Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's take this. This uh, holding bracket off. I'm gonna give that a clean up side. And let's have a look at this uh, offending bush here. Apart from being covered in nastiness, there's a, yeah, you can see there's a, there's a crack there. And, yeah, yeah, there's another crack here. And here. Oh, is that just oil. This is very crusty. But anyway, I think that's that's the main damage there. So so before we clean it up, we'll get this uh, bush off. Uh, there's a little pin in here, which is holding this on. But I think if we just, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the, the bush is so, had it, it's just split split there so we can just slide it off and we'll give this a give this a clean up because it looks pretty well deserved you can see this this mechanism here uh, when the the button on the gear knob is pressed that moves down It's looking a little bent, actually, isn't it? Not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but that's the way it is. Anyway, on with the cleaning. Here are the two bushings, side by side. The old one, which I've cleaned up, but as you can see, as I've shown before, it is totally split at that point, and indeed has a few other cracks around the bottom too. So that was 
completely, completely gone. So this is the new one. Uh, the only difference I can see is that on this one, it says RP and then one in brackets. And on this one, more difficult to see because it's white, it says uh, RP seven in a bracket. So, but to me, they look identical. They feel like they're made from the same type of material. Um, but most importantly, one isn't knackered. So let's get it back on to the gear stick. So let's get it on. Make sure you get it on the correct way. This at the bottom. Need a firm push. There we go. Next thing to do is to put this little pin in. Where does it go? At the side here, the other side. There, just in there. First, get it in here. And then we have to find the hole. A little bit of guesswork. So it's, it's lined up with that pin there. And you can see a bit better. I think about there. No. No, 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 no. Get it into the hole, as the actress said to the bishop. Got it. I'm sure you didn't want to see the 20 minutes of outtakes I had trying to do that. Right. Now let's just drive it home a little bit more. Right, so, so we've got it seated here in the in its correct position. Uh, I don't know what the manual was on about, but uh, I had to reattach this plate again because it's impossible to get uh, enough purchase to put this on through these holes with it dangling under the car. So um, temporarily reattach these so I can get this, this on and attach this from underneath. But it's, uh, it's quite a stubborn fellow and uh, it's gonna take a bit of fettling to get it in. So as you can see, the rod's now reattached and everything looks a bit cleaner than it did before. So let's go up top and uh, put everything back together there. So everything's back in. Let's make sure the gears are working properly and see we haven't knocked anything out of alignment. So we're in park. Okay, that's good. Let's try D2. Yeah, we're going forward. Let's try reverse. Yeah, we're going back. Let's try D1. Okay. And reverse again. It does feel a little more firm. I have to admit, 
there's still some play side to side, but uh, job done.